I am uh, Edward J. Daup. I'm the Charles William Harrison Distinguished Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Purdue University. So let's start first by defining what another term, and that's called cheap fake. And a cheap fake is some sort of uh, synthetic media, usually it's audio or video, that is manipulated or synthesized using very classical old techniques. We saw examples of this several years ago when um, a, a video of Nancy Pelosi appeared where it made her look like she was drunk or on drugs or something like that. That was a very simple thing to do. Defakes are usually are methods where the audio or video is manipulated or synthesized using deep learning artificial intelligence techniques. So that's sort of where the, you know, the, the line is drawn. And that line is not firm, okay? Uh, but, you know, defakes generally mean synthetic uh, media, usually audio, images, or video that were generated or modified using artificial intelligence techniques. I think as of today, um, unless the deep fake is very bad, if it's reasonably good, it's going to be very hard for the average person to detect it by just listening to it or watching it. Uh, it's gotten pretty good. So you, most people are going to have trouble with, with that. You know, I, I see a lot of people ask me, well, how, what are the cues I can look at? And it's, there's not really that many of them anymore. Uh, so you're going to have to use very sophisticated tools to be able to do the detection. Hopefully those will be available uh, to people, uh, but right now, um, you know, the, the, the availability of tools for generating defakes is coming along a lot faster than the availability for detection uh, tools. And what I mean by that, a lot of the detection tools are still inside the government, still inside university research labs. That is slowly moving out. Uh, but not quite as fast as the tools coming out to generate uh, defects. I'm the principal investigator of a very large international team that's sponsored by the Department of Defense, and particularly it's sponsored by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. And what we are doing is part of a larger prop, uh, program that the Department of Defense is sponsoring. We're developing tools to be able to detect um, uh, manipulations or synthesize uh, content in images, video, audio, and text. I would say right now uh, detection is doing a pretty good job, okay? And, and remember, uh, detection is not just one technique. Um, if you actually want to have a very good detection system, you have to run a whole series of detection techniques to be able to, to analyze a particular video or audio. Uh, my concern is where we're going to be five years from now. Uh, it's going to, you know, this is like an arms race. The people making the synthetic media and altered media are going to get better and better, and the detection methods will get better and better. Uh, but there's going to be a point where I'm, maybe I'm a little bit worried. Um, I, I also believe that we may get to a point in our society where, um, you know, you can't believe anything unless you've seen it with your own eyes or you get the content from some really trusted third party, but most third parties are not trusted anymore.